All right, now we're going to do some annuities, which are payments over time, and those are equal payments over time. The first one we're going to work on is, let's say that we are going to get $1,000 a year. So first of all, clear our registers. Good. Now we're going to say we're going to get $1,000 per year. So one, two, three, and that'll be our payment. We're going to get it for the next 20 years, so 20 is our N. We're going to assume we can get a 10% interest rate, so 10 is our I. And we want to know what's that worth in the future. At the end of 20 years, what would we have? And we compute future value, and that cash flow would be worth $57,274.99, or actually $275,000. So I'm getting $1,000 per year for 20 years, assuming a 10% interest rate is the equivalent of waiting 20 years and getting a lump sum of $57,000. All right, let's try a present value. So we're going to clear our registers, and we want to find out the present value of an annuity. Let's say that we wanted to put away enough money now that it would generate $2,000 a year for 15 years at 8% interest. How much would we need to put away now? Well, the first thing we do is enter our payment, which is $2,000, and that's our payment. We said 15 years, so 15, and then we hit N. 8% is our interest rate, 8 is our interest rate, and we wanted to know how much we would have to put away now. So we're going to compute our present value. And it says, it indicates that we would need to put away $17,118.96 now in order to generate $2,000 per year for the next 15 years, assuming an 18, uh, I'm sorry, an 8% interest rate. Finally, we're going to do one more, which is a mortgage, a good old fashioned mortgage. So we're going to clear our registers, and we've got a $500,000 mortgage, which means we need $500,000 now. So that would be a negative sign and our present value. We're going to take a 30 year mortgage. But we're going to pay on it monthly, so we're going to have 30 years times 12 equals 360, and that's going to be our N. Our interest rate is 5%, but remember, we're doing it monthly. 5% annually is the same as 5 divided by 12 to get your monthly rate, which is 0.4167, and you hit I. And the question is, what will our monthly payment be? We would simply hit Compute, Payment, and we find that we would owe $2,684.11 to the bank every month. And <clears throat> at the end of 30 years, we would own our house free and clear.